Hey there, it's Ryan with iMinnesotaNice.com. Today, day 64 of 365. I'm here at Nate Dogs on the corner of Nicollet and 6th. Correct? Yes. Yes. What? Tell me about what you do here. Okay, so I serve up all natural, locally sourced pork wieners and brats from a farm called Pastures of Plenty. Uh, they are a hormone-free, all-heritage breed uh, pork product that is just absolutely delicious. So what you're seeing here, this is the Nate Dog. We're gonna dress this up with some Carolina slaw. So what's in that? What's in the Carolina slaw? Cabbage and a scratch-made vinegar-based Carolina-style barbecue sauce that I make from scratch. And then we're gonna top that on this particular dog with a little bit of a honey spiced mustard. Now, <laughs> I make all my mustards and toppings from scratch. So if you kind of pan over here to my uh, sure. toppings board, we'll call it. I have caramelized onions and I use a local butter um, from Hope Creamery. I make my own sauerkraut. We've got the Carolina slaw. And today for a special topping, for those that want it, I have what's called the Macon Bacon Dog. Um, you can do it on a brat or a hot dog, and it's bacon jam, which is bacon, <laughs> onions, you have a bacon. some local yeah. bacon jam, some local beer, sure. all reduced down, pureed, and then spread on spread the hot it. dog. Yeah. Delicious. Yes. That sounds amazing. It's really tasty. How did you get started? Like, what, what was... Yeah. I'm a huge hot dog fanatic, sure. and one of my deals is at the Minnesota State Fair, I would eat... Oh, four to six foot long hot dogs. Whoa. <laughs> so last year, my goal was to beat my previous year's record of seven. I consumed eight foot longs in and amongst cheese curds and onion rings. <laughs> and that's so many. That's a lot, yeah. So I ate all the foot longs, and so I was like, when I decided to start a food business, I couldn't afford a restaurant, and starting right, a yeah. cart or a truck, yeah. um, more affordable. which started last yeah. year, was much more affordable, and we really settled on a cart because we do a business with little to no debt right, and yeah. run entirely in the black. And yeah. so far, so far knock so on <laughs> wood, we'll hear a knock on wood. Yeah. We've been able to do that. So you have, let me just, I'm just gonna back up really quick yep. here so you can see, so everybody can see it. It's just this little, it's a little shop. You know, it's not, he's not like a big, uh, big guy. He just, he, and this, it's just you. It's just you out here to quote Tommy Boy. He's just a little guy. <laughs> he's just a little guy. <laughs> that's so amazing. <laughs> and you have uh, the hot dogs. And something that's unique about the brats are they're the same size as the I hot do, dogs. yep. So you've got your standard, you know, pork wiener, and it's yep. a really nice, snappy, skin on pork yep. wiener. But I have the, the farm custom make the bratwurst in the same casing sure. as the wiener. Um, I found on another hot dog vendor site that somebody actually took the time to do a nationwide survey of we'll call it cased meat eaters, right. and found that the wiener size, or that smaller casing, was 80% more popular than the larger bratwurst sure, yeah. size. Because it's, um, especially for those that don't want a messy lunch, it's a yeah. lot easier to eat that. Yeah, don't, you know that, that standard hot dog, you can just grab it, you can go. It's yep. easy to get into your mouth, exactly. you can bite it, you can chew it on the run, wear those brats and they squirt it all over everywhere. Yep. And it's just hard to... And then you put on a topping, like even some of this slaw, or the jam, or yeah. I've got delicious over here, caramelized onions. Ooh, nice. Um, you add that to it pretty soon, it's a big, it's a big to do, yeah, you have so much. Um, so it keeps my cost the same. I can charge a really affordable $3 yeah, for Yeah, it's three, dog three bucks for a hot dog. Or brought. Yeah. Um, I carry also a local soda from a, a tiny little town called Spring Grove, Minnesota. Sure. They've been making soda since 1895. Wow. Um, these are your classic that, soda you know, foam that, flavors. That age rivals the breweries that are in For sure, yeah. It's, um, yeah. Uh, it's maybe not quite as old as Shell Brewing, but it's, it's, it's close. It's close, yeah. It's close. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there's not many companies anywhere that are right. that old still yeah. producing, the, especially yeah. a food product. That's amazing. So, really love cool it. stuff. <laughs> I love it. That's perfect. Awesome. Well, I think that's it. I, I don't know. Is that good? I think that's perfect. perfect. All right, I'm Ryan with iMinnesotaNice.com. Get down here. You're down here Monday through Thursday. Generally Monday through Thursday. Um, right. I uh, head over to St. Paul on Fridays and Saturdays. Sure. Uh, but you can head to NateDogs.com, and I've got maps of all my locations, yeah. uh, a list of where I am weekly, sure. and then if anything changes, I've got a Twitter feed right on the yeah. front page of my website. NateDogs on Twitter. NateDogs. Um, and my Twitter handle is Nate underscore dogs. Nate underscore dogs. So find him, get down here, try some dogs. I'm Ryan with iMinnesotaNice.com. I'm Nate Beck with Nate Dogs. Sharing the best of Minnesota. <laughs> Thanks.